Hey everyone, how is everyone doing? <clears throat> Let's get this live underway and started. Okay, let's do our weekly live. How can I help you this week? Just wash my hair and my hair is all fluffy. So, how can I help you? Let's get some finished questions in the chat. Training, nutrition, health, fasting, vitamins. What do you need help with? How can I help you today? It's an opportunity to ask me questions because you may spend a long time search, uh, researching on social media. So here is how I can help you. So there's no silly questions. So get your questions in the chat so I can help you. When was the last time? The last live was hmm, Wednesday, Thursday. That's all good. Hey, make sure I can hear me okay. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Just wondering if I... Yeah, that's good. Okay, who's got some finished questions? No silly questions. How can I help today? Is it okay to work out when muscles are sore? Um, absolutely. Uh, the truth is, of course, it'd be good for your muscles to recover. And it depends if you're working out consistently every single day. And that, that if that's the case, yes. But if your muscles are sore still train maybe not go 100 percent intense um or maybe think about your 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 training splits um maybe think about your training splits uh so that's a that's in quite, i know i had that quite a question before in this life um if you if you think about your training split if you're training too much one muscle group then maybe think about your training split to change up to help you with that so okay is there a point of strength training if uh, is it is there a point to strength training if you're sleep deprived? So that's a really good question. So sleep is massively underrated. Now, I can obviously say sleep sleep is underrated, and a lot of parents here uh, struggle to get sleep, so it's very hard. However, that being said, your workouts will be more effective if you have better sleep. That's for anything. But if you had if you don't have good enough sleep, you can still just train, and you can still get amazing workouts. Sometimes people get their personal best when they're least recovered. So it shouldn't be too much of a, an issue, but of course, sleep is important for your health. <clears throat> Should be concerned with fluctuating body fat. Not part of the journey. Uh, embrace it. Enjoy the fluctuations. The more you learn about how your body fluctuates and stuff, then the less stress you'll get when the fluctuations happen. Just part of the journey. Make sure you are seeing the progress and stay consistent. What kind of workout is good for when you are injured? No workout. Um, honestly, you've got, to be, you've got to be careful with this. Injuries aren't fun. The last thing you want to do is make it worse. So it's about focusing on recovery, focus on rehab, and then the best thing you could potentially do right now is your stretching. What's the best low, best low cow, high protein kosher meal? Well, see all my Instagram posts. That's the, all my recipes. They're the best ones. I uh, made a really good one tonight, and I'm sharing it tomorrow. So if you're not joining the channel, that'd be amazing. Um, rest days, how often? Uh, depends for you. A lot of people have rest days three, four times a week. I have a rest day for me mm, once or twice a week now. It varies. And I feel so much more energised when I do two workout rest days per week. Like my lifts today, I was doing a push day and I go very progressive in the, the dumbbell bench press. And I was feeling so good. And that's because I hadn't trained until... I had the whole weekend off, which is great. What suggestion for seven calves? So train super heavy and um, get this go really heavy on the calf raises. Uh, to do you have a sore knot of steam after workout? I used to. I miss it a lot, but currently the gym I go to don't have that. But if you do, it's a lovely. Uh, I, I miss it a lot. How hard is it to eat a kosher habit as well? I'll be honest with you, in the US, it's probably harder to eat. <laughs> it's it's hard to eat inside kosher in in Israel because a lot of the restaurants aren't even kosher in Israel or in Tel Aviv. In the US, there's so many more options, which is really which is so crazy to think about it. Uh, but it's no, it's not so bad. Uh, there's obviously there's not a demand, so the price is more expensive, but you can work around it. Best foods to eat before and after workout. I would say there's a best, um, but I would say. <laughs> Think about foods before which you can easily digest, so like bananas, 
And I said, I don't really have oats. Before. I have oats three hours before workout. So I would say, I wouldn't say the best. So whatever you can digest well, because I think everyone's very different. I know people here who could have a meal 20 minutes before workout and feel fine. If I have a meal 20 minutes before I work out, I, it's not working out. I, my tummy cannot digest food as fast. So I wouldn't say, whatever you can digest and after, some protein is good, but at the end of the day, protein is important afterwards, but it's not like a, you have to have it afterwards. But if you could, great. Hola. I'm also Jewish. Nice. Uh, do you ever think about making Aliyah? Uh, yes, I'm sure one day I will. I think in the UK it's not so... I know a lot of people in the UK make Aliyah. They stay in there for a year and then just come back to the UK. <laughs> so maybe I'll do that one day. You watching Eurovision? Um, I've never really been interested in Eurovision, personally. I watch some highlights. And if it's some good uh, good bangers after, like the, uh, the saxophone person. Da, 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 da. I'll, I'll watch that. Okay, some great questions. Okay, yeah, I'm going to the question chat. Uh, do you have any advice on how to avoid binging when doing a fast and what to do after? I mean, what's the best way to get used to calories? So when it comes to obviously this and when it comes to binge eating, I've got to be very careful because uh, eating disorders are, are, are a serious thing. And that's when, when it comes to eating disorders and binge eating, then specialist advice is important. So what I'd recommend with not binge eating, because that's a different thing, but controlling snacks this is what we're talking about so if it's binge eating this is not advice for this and if you don't like that then it's not for me it's not for to get advice from me you need more specialist but when it comes to snacking what we think about is the main meals and think about okay how how can you have more protein and vegetables in those main meals now that's not going to say you're now full however the more protein the more car uh, the more vegetables you have it's going to help you over time to feel more full because those foods are more nutritionally full of value. So I would recommend having foods which have a higher high pr protein and more vegetables. Um, to clarify, to put more stress, da, da, da. Yes, okay, wait. Yeah, with tennis elbow, I would recommend speaking to a physio. Um, there's, better, there's, there's better things, there's be better people there to, to help you with that than me. Getting back to training when you're in your late, uh, getting back to training when you're in your late forties. I don't know if that's like if you want advice, but if you are, amazing, really, really proud. Um, my my parents are in their, their mid sixties, early sixties, mid sixties, and they're both crushing it with it. But that's my father's doing a lot of running, and my mother's doing a lot of strength training. So it's never too late. What I recommend is do stuff that you can stick consistent to, and do stuff that you actually enjoy. You know, you you see on the internet um, people doing this and this, but it's pointless. Like, what you can say consistent to is the best thing. There's no point of doing something you don't enjoy. It's, it's, it's literally pointless. And when you say consistent to that, then eventually you can progress to the next thing. So focus on what you can say consistent to, block out the noise, and then stay consistent and find ways to make it harder, find ways to progress. And you are, that's the amazing thing you can do. There was one question about France. I, I do not speak French. Uh, I don't speak French, but I get a lot of questions saying, am I French? Because I, I look French. Uh, comme si, comme ça. I think that's a French term. Have you ever visited is it Colombia? No, but I would love to. And that'll be, it's on, my, uh, it's on my bucket list, of course. Does getting toned muscle rely on exercise and diet? I would say both, especially with toned, uh, obviously with strength. Obviously toned is a various uh, definition. When it comes to getting toned, I would say focusing more protein intake. And strength training and there those two things together is the combination for a toned body ah there's so really good questions today really really happy it's good um hey hey uh, lovely enjoy enjoy birthright any more questions let's get this in the chat to fill in or cardio <laughs> to fill in of course that's a great question um, or both. Yeah, put put the defend on whilst you're doing the steps. That's a good workout. That's a good coordination challenge as well. I should really try that. That'd be really good. That's that's really quite funny. I may try that actually. And okay, any more questions? Let's do a few more questions, and then we'll finish today. Hey hey hey. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
Anyone, anyone finish questions? We had some really good questions today in the chat, which is really amazing to see. How can I help you? Training nutrition. Is there something you want to improve with your workout routine? Exercise you're not too sure about? And so on. How can I help today? What was my favorite holiday? Ooh, that's a personal question, right? Okay, we'll take some personal questions. Well, I mean, are we talking about like just general holidays or holidays? Because I'll be honest with you, I don't really do, I mean, as I, get, as I get older, holidays don't really do anything for you anymore. But a favorite Jewish holiday would be, I'm going to say Passover, purely from, not obviously the event, I'm going to say from the, like, the family experience i like that because the food's a bit different it's, your diet's very weird um and then obviously just being family for a week or so is is very special so that's that's what i'm going to say how many times should i do leg workouts a week effectively so effectively good question good good mention you could mention that twice max once fine twice max i used to do it twice uh, a week consistently for years and now i just do it once and i just train my calves really really heavy do four or five exercises is really really heavy and that's me legs done for the week and so on thoughts on immediate fa intermediate fasting that's a good one i love this one so with intermittent fasting there's a few questions now what's well, great with intermittent fasting it's overrated and underrated okay so it's important to understand that point because some people get really offended when i talk badly about intermittent fasting so it's no magic formula Everything you see on social media about intermittent fasting is there's no magic. It's literally missing out breakfast and missing out snacking in the evening. It's a great tool. And that's what it, that's what all it is. It's just a tool to miss out calories. I love breakfast. It's my favorite meal of the day. I'm not missing it. So that's all it is. If you don't like breakfast, then miss it. But why I say to everyone who does intermittent fast is this isn't going to be a life changer. You want to prove to yourself that if you drop weights, you can still drop weight and have breakfast. Because the rest of your life, you can <laughs> you can't just wake up in the morning at a hotel and you're like, okay, I can't do it, and you don't eat for the rest of the day. It'll just make you feel so ill. So I say it's a really good tool for some people for fat loss, but prove say to yourself actually it's only a short term thing. I need to prove to myself that I can still achieve goals after. So it's great for some and overrated for some. When did you start your fitness journey and why? So I started my fitness journey very young i mean 13 um okay uh, yeah so saw that when i was 13 started uh running a lot of hit workouts in my home and then i started to do half marathons and the london marathon when i was 18 in london it's pretty crazy the london a marathon at 18 which i found pretty crazy because at the mind i was thinking oh this is so cool but i was like i'm quite i'm so young still and then it was because the first reason why I started was because of my dyslexia, because I was struggling at school and I got a lot of anxiety. So I just worked out to help me with my anxiety and, um, it's, and here I am. <laughs> so it, was a, it, it came from pain, but actually it helped me a lot. So, so it's great for everyone. So yeah, that was my answer. If I have neck pain, what exercise or if I have neck pain, should I exercise or only stretch? Good question. So I would say be careful with your workouts. I try and not lift too much heavy weights. Uh, but I'd recommend stretching, ensuring the consistency with both elements, especially with the stretching and so on. But of course, if it is very painful, then I think speaking to someone about it is going to be um, is important because you want to exercise and not that pain. What do you do if you hate training abs? Don't train abs. <laughs> Truthfully, I'm not trained. I, I mean, I have, I have, I've had abs. I have abs, okay? And I'm not trained abs in three four years maybe because when you do heavy legs and when you're doing a body you're still pushing your your core is so feeling it now when you train abs like you feel the, you feel the core but everyone has a set of abs underneath their body fat of course the minor difference will make a difference but if you don't train if you don't want to train abs honestly it's not worth time so the good news is you can still get abs without training them uh, will you come to Israel? I will be. Uh, I will be. Not confirmed, but in the next few months. Uh, how long does it take you to do the marathon? 
Oh, so it was a horrendous experience. So I had a terrible pain in my knee the whole run. So I know it's an excuse. I'm trying to think now. I really, th I, I think there's two numbers on mine, which I can't remember. It was either four hours 15 or later. I think it was around four hours 15, which I was so happy with because the first, the first 16 miles I was crushing it. And after the 16 miles, my knee was like not happening. And I had to just, stumble across the line but it was a great experience the finishing line was unbelievable who are some of my favorite fitness influencers wow i don't have any more you know I, it just sounds really crazy but i've stopped following influencers um that's, that's the answer i don't right now in my career in my i don't have any influencers i'm like wow i'm so inspired by of course like a I love the mindset of David Goggins. Uh, I think I was an epic person. Um, but there's not really uh, influencers I follow so much. I used to a lot, but I used to always compare myself and it wasn't worth it. So I look at the people who are like a few sets above me who aren't influencers, but I, I think they're, they're role models in, in their field. And these are people who are less followers than me who have a few thousand followers and they're the people who are making big differences where when you get more and more followers, um, it becomes more of a, uh, a business than actually impacting people. So that's where the, when people get millions of followers, it's not them actually on their page. It's uh, people running it for them. Who are your favorite health practices for your, uh, what are your favorite health practices for your mental health and fitness? Okay. That's a really good question. So walking is one of them. I should recommend, my last Instagram post after the live, don't leave, don't leave now. Um, after my after the live, check out my last Instagram post, and those things are exactly the things I I. It's exactly that question. Uh, my health health practices for my mental health. That's exactly what I do. So look at my last post after this, and uh, those are my favourite, and I really highly recommend everyone to uh, to implement because it will make you a lot happier. I'm not showing any abs now. Good, 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 good. Trust me, put more effort out. If you do walking, if you walk for the same time you do the training abs, it's going to be as effective, if anything more effective for fat loss, because it all comes down to the calorie deficit. What do you recommend for a person that can't lift over 15 pounds? And then you don't have to lift 15 pounds. It depends on the goal. If your goal is to lift 15 pounds, then we work towards 7 pounds and 10 pounds and 12.5 pounds, you get to 15 pounds. But if you can't lift 15 pounds, then start light and progress. It really depends on the goal. Hello, hello. Where's your hair? Um, oh, <laughs> if that's from, yeah, I cut my hair a long time ago. Not a long time ago, in September. Would take me a year to finish the marathon. I disagree. I think it'll take you two years. I'm only joking. Um, I, I don't think it would. I think if you really, really think about it, when you really think about a marathon, Anyone will literally, if you walk six, seven hours, you've completed a marathon. So really think about it, it's just a long walk. So, and I think generally anyone could walk a marathon in a day without training. It just takes me a lot to take longer. Do I speak Hebrew? I need a lot of bear Ivrit. I said that once in the gym in, in, in Tel Aviv. And I started laughing when I said it because I was so proud of myself. Um, I need to get better at it. Uh... What college? Oh, this is many, many years ago. I went to a college in uh, a university in London. Um, how many miles a day do you walk daily? Oh, this is getting puzzle questions. Is not, where's the where's all the fitness questions? Um, I walk around twenty k steps daily. So I don't know how many that is in miles, but a lot, I guess. Twenty uh, k steps into miles around 8.5 miles a day which is actually quite a crazy amount um but that's good oh that's nice i adore i absolutely adore your sister what a special a, spe a beautiful mushroom i work with kids on the spectrum and they're so special beautiful they are they are amazing people and uh, they bring a lot of joy into the world and i always highly recommend um, anyone volunteering or spending time because you learn so much it's not actually for them it's actually for you and it's so rewarding <laughs> it's so yeah that's a lovely lovely message um new follower lovely 
Uh, nice. Okay, let's keep these finished questions related, please. Oh, where's Hannah? Oh. Uh, ha oh, Hannah's not currently here right now. Um, but we, no, I definitely need to. <laughs> I definitely need to FaceTime you. On um, before Shabbat this weekend, I'll FaceTime. I'll FaceTime you with Hannah. That'd be lovely. Yeah, she, uh, Hannah currently joined the show. Hannah is independent. She, she works during the week. She works in a, um, she lives in a, a, a part of a company called London in Manchester. And in the week she works, she lives with other people with disabilities, with the carers, and she's fully independent. And she comes home, uh, parents home every Shabbat, which is lovely. So yeah, um, but if you haven't followed Hannah's page, that's good. Yeah, I know. It's, it's my stream anymore. Yeah, um, I miss. Yeah, Mel. I I spoke to Jace a few days ago. I need to catch up. I'll be back in New York uh, soon. I hope so. Hopefully, the weather's better there because uh, it's, uh, it's been cold there and it's cold here. Yeah, this is no stream. This is basically just uh, me talking about Hannah. Other Jewish athletes to follow? Yes, I would. Um, I would follow Nathan Levy. I think he's a really cool uh, a Jewish athlete. Uh, who else? There's a few, but I've completely forgotten now. Me? That's one. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not an athlete. Technically, I am. I'm a Jewish athlete. If there's a if there's a Maccabee Games for Jewish people, then I'm definitely an athlete. <laughs> uh, what's, I'm actually not in the US. I'm currently back in the UK, so I'm in back in UK England. Anyway, this has been a, a, a good long live. Let's get two more finished questions in. Let's keep it fitness related, and then I'm going to finish off. Yes, I think a lot of the, I think the biggest percentage of Instagram followers are actually from uh, New York, which is pretty cool. Okay, anyone got any more finished questions? There's yeah, some really good questions. It's probably been one of the most, uh, as many finished questions on live. So it's amazing to see, yeah. It's scary, but I feel uh, in, in New York, I feel more safe wearing my American David than in the UK which is a, a shame, but it is what it is. Anyway, thank you very much. Thank you everyone for joining. Ah, okay, let's do one more question. Um, okay, do you have any tips on how to use the gym as a beginner? Oh, great question. I love it. So what I'd focus on is, firstly, if I was a beginner going to the gym, Shalom, um, if I was a beginner going to the gym, I would start with some cardio. I would literally go to cardio and I would basically have my eyes looking around. I'll be like, okay, ooh, that's that machine. Oh, that looks pretty scary. Oh, that looks cool. And I want you to have a look at someone else doing the machine. And okay, okay, I could probably do that machine, that leg press or that leg extension. I could probably do that. And what I want you to do is the next day when you go home, I want you to go on YouTube and basically like how to use leg press or how to use leg extension. So now you've got someone doing the machine that you've watched on the treadmill. You've now got a video that you've been watching on YouTube. And then once next time the machine is available, go for it. And you just do it again, again, and again. And now you've got a set of five or six machines and the confidence is getting up. And now you're more confident to try some free wigs at the back of the gym and it's all gonna progress. So that's what I'd recommend. That was such a good answer, I must say. I'm proud of myself. I should have recorded that. <laughs> um, with intimate fasting, I know it's going to do one more question because I did I did do a five minute speech of intimate fasting a few minutes ago. Um, with intimate fasting, I'm I'm a big I'm a big fan of it, but I think it's massively overrated. I love breakfast, and I would never do intimate fasting. So what I'd recommend is if you like breakfast, don't intimate fast. If you don't like breakfast and you don't want to snack in the evening, then it's a great tool. It is literally a tool. There's no magic about it. If anyone tells you the scientific benefits of that fasting, unfortunately doesn't work it's just cutting out calories and that's all it is and what you want to prove to yourself and i mentioned this before is that if you do intermittent fast you want to make sure that you don't do this forever because you're going to have breakfast and you don't want to feel guilty you know so it's not about cutting out breakfast it's just a tool for a short period of time and prove to yourself after that you can still have breakfast and drop weight which is definitely doable so great questions um yeah, and I should, yeah, I should, ooh. I try, I don't think I can actually, I really think, I, I tried to, uh, after, save the clip, and there was no option, I think I may have to post it 
which I don't really want to do, um, that may be the only option. Ah, we have finally, everyone gets to it's taken a 20 minute live to finally get a, an FP sentence. That's actually really impressive. I'm really happy with that. Um, yeah, oh, ah, thank you very much. I appreciate that. I am definitely going to implement that after. Oh, that means I've got so much uh, lives to go through. Well, I'll let, I'll let you know if that's success. Anyway, thank you so much for joining everyone. We're going to do another live probably later this week, Thursday. So get your questions in and uh, have a lovely week. Let's have a lovely week.